Are you looking for the safest way possible to store your crypto? Well, a cold storage device or a hardware wallet like the Ledger Nano X here is the safest way to do it. That's what you're going to need. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to take crypto from your Coinbase account and send it over to the Ledger Nano X. All right, let's just dive right in. Hello everyone, my name is Sean. I'm the Crypto Smith. Welcome back. Ledger Nano X is a hardware wallet or a cold storage wallet. Uh, basically, it's the size of a large USB drive. It connects right up to your computer or you can connect wirelessly uh, to your uh, mobile device. Uh, I have it connected to my, my desktop. Why do you want one of these? What this does is it adds an extra layer of protection between the internet and your crypto, right? If you're on Coinbase, somebody could hack Coinbase, take your crypto. If you're on MetaMask or one of these other decentralized exchanges, somebody can find a way in and take your crypto. If you have your crypto stored on a cold storage or a hardware wallet like the Ledger Nano X, it's nearly impossible for them to break into, right? You hold the device and nobody can get to it but you. You have a 24 word seed phrase that protects this thing from getting broken into, right? You have to physically connect it to your computer in order for you to access your crypto, right? So if somebody else doesn't have this and they or they don't have your 24 word seed phrase, they're not getting anything. So what you do is you install a program called Ledger Live. This allows you to access this on your desktop. Here's my Ledger Live here. You can, you can buy and swap tokens from here. Uh, you can add, I believe there's 5,500 different coins or tokens you can hold on the ledger. Uh, it's very convenient. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buy $20 worth of ETH on my Coinbase account, and I'm going to transfer that directly over to my ledger Nano X. So let's go trade, All right? We're going to buy some Ethereum here. Okay, buy Ethereum. I'm going to go $20, one-time purchase, preview, and buy. And we're going to wait. Okay. Here we are, it's already here. It literally took 10 seconds, 15 seconds. So I have my Ethereum. Okay, I'm gonna go here to my uh, Ledger Live account. Okay, I need to connect my Ledger. Okay, I'm gonna add an account here. I'm gonna add Ethereum. So now it wants me to open the Ethereum app on my device. You see these, these are two buttons here, basically pressing them simultaneously is just like hitting enter on your keyboard. It's, it's actually very simple. They make it very easy, uh, it'll give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do everything here. So now it's synchronizing my Ledger Nano with Ledger Live. So Ethereum, okay, and it's done. Now, I already have $33 of Ethereum on here. So now I'm going to receive, okay, it's gonna give you a warning, please send ETH or Ethereum tokens only, continue. Here is my address. I'm gonna click this to copy it. Now what it does is it, it actually displays on the device itself that address and it wants you to physically verify the address that you're seeing on Ledger Live, it matches the one on the device itself. So I've done that. Now we're gonna go back to our Coinbase. Okay, I'm in my Ethereum now, Ethereum account. I'm gonna send all of it. So I've got $18.40, $18 uh, that's minus the fees that they uh, charge for me to purchase the Ethereum. I'm going to paste my address here, continue. Now. I can send now. Now I've got a I've got two-factor authentication on my Coinbase account just for an added layer of security. I'm going to go to my mobile device and find and there we go. It's sending. I highly recommend on anything that you do if at all possible set up your two-factor or your two-step authentication. That's just one more step that a hacker has to go through in order to get your crypto. Okay, let's go over to Ledger Live. Let's see where we're at. Should take just a, just a minute here. Okay, and we just received, it took about 20 to 30 seconds or so. Uh, it's now in here, and that was it. It's really just that simple. You're just copying the address in your Ledger Live account, and you're pasting it over on your Coinbase account, making very sure that you double check what's on your hardware wallet matches what's on your ledger live as far as the account goes i always check at least the first three digits and then the last four or five digits that's usually going to work and that's it so now if you're on here 
and you want to add, uh, let's say Shiba Inu, right? So let's go down to manager. Nope, I got to unlock my device again. There we go. Okay, here is the catalog of all of the apps that it's basically saying each one of these wallets for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance, these are all considered apps on this, uh, on the Ledger Nano X. Uh, so, and there are a bunch, thousands of them, right? Now on here, you're not going to see any of the Ethereum based tokens like Shiba Inu is an Ethereum based token. But if you want to add that apps installed, let's go Shiba Inu, right? Now it's telling me to manage Shiba Inu ERC20 tokens. Just verify that you have the ERC20 version, just in case you have a token that has uh, like a Binance smart chain version and an Ethereum version. Make sure you're sending the correct one. I've done this where I have sent the wrong token to the wrong address and I lost those tokens. Now, normally if I'm sending large amounts, I'll send a small test uh, just to make sure that it's working before I send large amounts. And the first small test I noticed, I screwed it up and I sent it to the wrong account. Okay, now when you're on here and it wants, it's loading, it basically you're looking at your hardware wallet and you're, at, and you're seeing what it's asking you to do. It's asking me to re-enter my uh, passcode on here or my PIN. So I'm gonna have to do that right now. Okay, now it's asking me to open up the Ethereum app. All I have to do is just press both buttons at the same time. That'll open the app. It's preloaded. So now it's adding the Shiba Inu to the Ethereum account on my Ledger Nano. Now I don't have any Shiba, uh, but I know some of you out there do. And getting it off of these centralized exchanges or decentralized exchanges and getting it onto your hardware wallet is always the best option. Okay, add account and done, right? So here's Ethereum. Uh, I have a little Saitama in there, which you can't really sell because it's pretty much worthless. So uh, in order for me to, in order for Shiba to show up, I'd have to actually, um, I'd have to actually send some. That is, that's it. Now let me, I'll share with you my opinion on another benefit to having a hardware wallet. Now, if you're somebody like me, I'm a bit impulsive when it comes to crypto. You know, you, you see a, a token that you're like, oh my gosh, I got to have it right now. And everything you have is tied up on your on your hardware wallet. And there's an extra step now you have to go through. You can't just, you know, get on your MetaMask account, click, you know, sell ETH for, you know, uh, whatever token it is you're looking for. I have to physically find my ledger, get it out, plug it in, go through the steps, logging on, uh, Ledger Live, and then go through to go through those steps in order to move that money to a Coinbase or to my MetaMask account so that I can swap. Or you can actually do swaps on here. Uh, but it's just another way that slows me down to where I, I'm not going to be as impulsive, right? It's going to give me a few extra minutes of thinking about what I'm doing. Is this really what I want to do? Do I really want to sell what I have and buy whatever the next speculative token is? Uh, as you can see, I hold some XRP. Uh, that's not going anywhere. I'm not selling that until that thing goes through the roof. Uh, I don't know if you're a, a fan of XRP. Uh, I am. Uh, I'll probably be doing some videos on XRP uh, sometime here in the near future. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to put a link in the description down below uh, to where you can pick up your Ledger Nano X. Now, let me give you a bit of advice. Do not purchase a secondhand version of the Ledger Nano X or any hardware wallet. Somebody else before you is going to have those private keys. So once you load up your Ledger, they're going to be able to take your crypto. Only purchase it their own website. Now you can probably get it on Amazon, but when you get that thing in the mail, you make sure that it is sealed, not tampered with, never been opened. I can't stress that enough. Do not buy a secondhand or used version or buy it on Facebook Marketplace or or uh, Craigslist, right? Don't, don't do it. Buy it from the Ledger site only. Okay, that's it for this video. If you do me a favor and give me a like and a subscribe, if you like the content, come back and see me again. I'd really appreciate it. It does help push me up in the old YouTube uh, algorithm and helps me get seen by more people. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. You guys have a great day.